fixed control persistence. The idea of that strange wording with DBMS Optim Bundle, a package in the database is, since a long time, we deliver behavior changing optimizer fixes with bundle patches. We already started doing this for 11.2 extra data bundle patches and for 12.102 with the normal database, the non-engineered systems. Now in 12.2, it's the release updates and the release update revisions. And when such behavior changing optimizer fixes are included in a bundle patch, then they are turned off by default. Now you want to turn them on. And even more, you would like to apply the next RU maybe in April, and you would like to keep the settings from before persistent. And this is realized via the DBMS Optim bundle. So it's there for non-engineered systems since 12.102 April 2017 bundle patch. And there were a few cases where it disappeared and then it reappeared again. How do you use it? And why do you want to use it? So we roll out a lot of patches. For instance, here, this example with 19.10. Set server output on. This is important because otherwise you don't see any output. And then exec dbms optim bundle get box for bundle. OK, now I get a long list here for 19.10. So you get the box listed. And these are all potentially behavior changing optimizer fixes. And they have a fixed control associated with them. What do we do with that information? We can enable them. But, and this is one of the flaws of DBMS Optim Bundle, we can enable only either all of them or keep all of them disabled. But I show you in a second or explain you in a second what you could do if you want to enable just a subset of them. But DBMS Optim Bundle allows you only the everything at once approach. We say DBMS Optim Bundle, enable Optim fixes, action on, yes, turn them on, scope both for memory and SP file. And the last setting, current setting precedence, yes by default means. When you had, let's say, the October one already, the October RU for 19C, and you use DBMS Optim Bundle, and now you go to the January one, and you call it again. And there was something disabled at will before. Even though you enabled a lot, but you disabled something at will because you decided, I don't want to have that, or you had an issue with this. Now, by default, this would give a conflict when you call the procedure here again. And by default, yes means your setting takes priority. So we don't create a conflict. We just don't enable that fix again. So we leave your current setting. If you would say no in this case, then you would give the new um, enabling priority and you would override the disabled by default setting from before. So typically you do best with the yes, and there's not much you should think about that. Now the output of that procedure, when I call this, it tells me first, what is your current fixed control setting? Is there anything in my SP file? And it says none. Okay. In the second big block, it tells me now what it will set in my SP file. So all these settings here will be added to my SP file. And you may wonder about this colon one, Typically, colon one after the fix means it's enabled. But you see there's also colon zero, or in the middle pillar, you see at one case there's a colon seven. So colon zero means it's disabled, and colon seven here means there's a special setting for this fix. So it has different states. It's not just zero and one. In memory, below the third section, you see it's always zero because nothing gets changed now in memory in my database right now. This is important to mention because you may need a restart to take this effect here. And this is what we'll do now. We will have this long, oh my God, incredibly long and very hard to read, long fixed control setting in the SP file after we used it, at least with a comment, that's good. Um, but if you want now a control and you say, mm, the first one, just let an example, the first one here, the 29331066, this is one you had an issue with. 
DBMS Optim Bundle doesn't allow you that granular setting. So you would now have to edit the fixed control setting and switch that one manually to zero. And now back to the uh, precedence from before, let's say we go to April. And in April, this is still there. And by default, it will still enable it again. Now it realizes, oh, you set it on purpose to zero. And by default, your zero setting will be kept. Not bad, but you need a restart to take the effect here. It sounds good. Uh, it's helpful. It's just sometimes a bit, uh, I would say, uh, it has some, some tiny little flaws. So as I said before, in some cases, it appeared and disappeared again in the next bundle or in the next release. And especially for 1910, you need something. Unfortunately, when you use, when you want to use DBMS Optim Bundle, when you never want to use it, ignore that. But when you want to use DBMS Optim Bundle with 1910, you need that patch, 3.1862593. Because if you don't have that, and you check now, DBMS Optim Bundle tells you only the 99 fixes. So it can't produce the output for 1910. The XML information hasn't been loaded into the database. And so you can't set the correct fixed control settings for 1910. But that's what we want. So need that patch, simple patch, doesn't require data patch. And then you go with this one. 